Hey guys, Devin Equinox here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a space picture for Small Worlds. So, the first thing you will need is GIMP, and I have a link here that I'll provide in the description. So, in order to download it, which I'm using Windows, but you can use it on Mac too, I'm pretty sure. So click download, and download GIMP directly. And I already have this downloaded, so I don't need to set it up, so, but if you don't have it downloaded it's very simple um, you open up the setup and then you install it it's just like that so once you have that downloaded you open it up and once you open it up you'll get a screen like this and you go up here to the top left click file new and make an image that is a thousand by a thousand pixels click OK and now you have a template so this is the basic foundation of your picture um, this is what you need you need to have a thousand by thousand image in order to make a space picture for small ones you can use any image you want as long as it's scaled down or up to a thousand by a thousand pixels so I don't have any image prepared so I'm going to go ahead and make one for you guys <laughs> live uh, yeah, these are all my space pictures I made. Um, I have a screenshot here. Well, it's really small, so I'll just scale it up and center it. Make sure, like, it looks a little centered. Make sure it's starting in the middle of the page. Um, that looks about centered to me. Maybe a little bit more to the right. Okay, so once you have this layer, or once you have a basic picture. Well, actually, I'm going to edit it some more. Let's make this background black. And let's make it have like a little shadow. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, change the opacity down. It's not totally there. It's okay. Put the size up. Let's make it something like this. You can do whatever you want. Just editing picture for you guys real quick just for the sake of this video okay so looks pretty neat I'll make the edges a little bit darker to blend in with the background there we go that looks well let me change this opacity back up a little bit just, a little, just the slightest bit Let's make it a little darker. Okay. That looks about right. Okay. Now, my space is called Who's There, so I'm going to make. Well, the text is black. I'll make it white. And put that size up a little bit. Make it centered. I didn't mean underline it. Let's change it to. New bold font. There you go. Um change it down to 90 and let's make sure this is centered with the middle of the page let's move it down right above the eyes I'm using my um, arrow keys to do that uh, let's put a question mark here make it white 90 same font what was it new bold okay make sure that these alignment tool and make sure that this is centered in the middle of the page let's move that up a little bit there you go does that look cool okay so um yeah so once you have an image that you want this is the image I'm gonna use um so you I have multiple layers but you need to right click in the layer um, option panel thing and then you click flatten image you can change the name to whatever you want but for this sake of the video I'm going to put who's there uh, create a new layer right click click create a new layer and change the name to background make sure it's a thousand by a thousand and transparent click ok and make sure that the background layer is under the who's there layer and then make the who's there layer active again and click the scale tool and click anywhere on the screen okay so 
you need to change the height, only the height, and to make sure that you only change the height, make sure that this chain link right here is open, not closed, but open. And then so change the height to 1,500. Move it down one pixel, move it back up so it's fixed like that. Click scale, and so now the the who is there layer is scaled down. 1500 pixels under background or 500 pixels but either way so click the rotate button hold control or command whichever um, system you're using Mac or Windows and then you rotate right 45 degrees so clockwise 45 degrees scale the tool scale this layer all the way down back to a thousand by a thousand and make sure that's linked also so it's a thousand by a thousand then move it to where it's perfectly aligned with each corner and you might have to zoom in so it get a perfect pixel and make sure you, you move don't move like this because you, you won't be able to move the transparent but make sure you move like this black piece right here whatever piece whatever color you have so now that that's lined perfectly up in the middle um, I'm using control in my mouse wheel to zoom in by the way. So that's an image that we have and that's what we need to do. That's great. Okay, so there's our image. It's rotated nice and clean. So what you need to do is you need to go up here, click file, export as, then save it where you want, and then you have access to a created folder for you guys. You no know, special folder. Name it what you want. Who's there? export um, so go to that folder where you have that so it's rotated a thousand by a thousand dimension and go to this website it's called image splitter dot net this is what I used in order to split it five by five into five by five layers so either you can either drag it or you can click here and then simply just click that your image and upload image and there's a split image tab that you need to click split image and then the rows and the columns is five by five so now that you have this split up you want to click split image and save this RINRAR file the zip file wherever you want preferably in the folder that you have everything else saved in and in order to have a zip file you can either use 7-zip or RINRAR I'll have both of them in the description but you need to have them in order to open zip files very simple installs just like GIMP is no tricks no trickery so open this up so now I have all my images in here that are split into 5x5 five five. so I need to put these into this folder but what I normally do is I create a new folder just for I like to keep things <laughs> nice and neat so I just create a new folder open that up oh wait I have two of them open oops Let's just open it again. Okay, so I have this open. And I'll just drag all these into that split folder. Once I have these, there's some white. If you did it correctly, you should have um, 25 items, 5x5. Five five, but you need to delete these white boxes that you have. They should be completely white. It should only be 7 of them. Click Delete. Or actually, it's eight. It's eight of them. So click delete, and you should have 17 items left. I'm pretty sure. Yep, 17. That's how many floor posters you need. Is you need 17 floor posters. So once you have these, select them and then upload them to your Flickr account. Which I would do right here. What I do is I just create a new album uh, for them. Just it, you you can do whatever you want. I just I keep things nice and neat. So upload those. Hold on there, tiger. <laughs> oh man, is it gonna upload? It doesn't really take this long. Yeehaw. Okay, so <laughs> once it's they're installed, you have. <clears throat> everything uploaded you want to go to your small word space who's there Let's log in uh. 
and you want to make sure that you have 17 floor posters. It can't be used with any less. You could have more if you like, but you just put more work on yourself. So, oh, okay, I don't have 17. I only have 6, so I need to buy 11. I have enough. <laughs> I let Julia borrow some, so let's we'll buy some more. It's indifferent. So make sure they're medium. I need 11. Yeah. So once you have 17, you want to start setting them out. And what I normally do is I look at my image. So I put them side by side so I can look at the image to see like which goes where. So what you need to configure is you can put your options, go to fill, and search in your name or whatever. Make sure you can find it. <clears throat> so these are what you need. You need these, so it's like a puzzle piece. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, for a couple of them and then I'll speed it up. So let's add in the top left corner, and then let's add in the top. Make sure that it's configured correctly. Whoa, that's not right. So this is the final production and once you have this done, everything is perfectly looking crisp, no indents or anything. The image button, make sure you zoomed in all the way. And go ahead and, and take the picture just like that. And the screenshot, save it. And now you have space picture, who's there? <laughs> How neat is that? Let's look at my spaces to see the spaces panel. Ooh, that's pretty hot. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching. And if you want any more tutorials, just like this and comment, whatever, and then I'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, thanks.